Hello everyone, how are you? I decided to make a small video for revision of our previous lessons. The first one was picture graph, analyze picture graph. The second one is make bar graph. For now, we will do this question page 508 in the book. 508. As you can see, Use the tally chart to make a picture graph. Here we have tally chart. It can help us to collect the data and put it in our picture graph. Jump rope we have one, two, three. Let me write it as small numbers so we will not count every single time. Baseball one, two, three, four. So four. Roller blades, one, two, two, bike, five. That's cool. Now, let's, let's move it from tally chart to picture graph. The most important thing in the picture graph is to apply your title, to put your keys, and then we can start. Jump probe 3. I will draw 3 symbols. For example, let's make it like a rope. 1, 2, and 3. This is good. Now, baseball 4. Let's make it as a ball. Something like this. So I have 4 baseballs. Four volts for baseball. Roller blades two. So I will throw something like this. This is good. Now I have for the bike five volts. It should be bike. Don't think about it so much. So now our picture graph is ready. How many more votes did bike get than baseball? Let's take a look for the bike. We have one, two, three, four, five bikes. So we put the circle around the bike and write five above it. How many votes? More more votes did by get than the baseball. Baseball got four. So I will put also a circle around the baseball and write four. So if you want to know the difference between the bike and the baseball, how many more votes did the bike get? So we will make a subtraction. Five minus four equals one. So the answer is one vote. Here, how many people like jump ropes and roller blades together? Okay, let's put a circle around jump ropes. How many votes? One, two, three. This is good. Now, roller blades. Roller blades, how many? One, two. So, two. Now, how many people like jump ropes and roller blades? So, that means. Here we want to know both votes together. How many people has voted to jump ropes and rollerblade together, all together? So we will make addition, 3 plus 2 make 5. So 5 votes. Or 5 people, because they are asking about the people. So not votes, people. Okay. How many more? How many more people like to bike than jump rope? Again, we will do the same. Bike has five volts. Jump rope has three. We because more 
more than so we want to know the difference so we will make 5 minus 3 equals 2 so how many more people two people so two people what two people has voted to the bike more than jump ropes how many people like to jump rope and play baseball let's make a circle around jump rope baseball jump rope got three votes as you can see baseball got four votes so all together how many people like to jump and to play baseball four three plus four equals seven so seven people this is for the picture graph revision welcome back so now for the bar graph revision i will use page number 514 i will use highlighter and my pencil and eraser let's start let me focus on the page let's start use the tally chart to make a bar graph it's obvious it's very easy we just want to transfer tally to bar graph red blue pink green let's start favorite color for some people they ask they ask them a question what is your favorite color four people answered red five people answered blue four people answered pink and two people answered green we want to transfer these data to make it as a bar graph Okay, of course you can use the same colors. You can color with red and color here with blue, here with pink and here with green. If I got these num uh, colors, I really want to color it. It will be more beautiful. Let me check my pencils. I got two colors, third color, and the last one is blue, right? Blue, yeah. That's cool, I found them. So I will not use the highlighter. I will use the colors. Okay, let's start with red. How many people like red? Four people. So I will color four bars. Three and four. Now, blue. How many people like blue? Five people. So I'm gonna color five bars. That's pretty cool. Then, how many people like pink? Only four people. So again, four people. I will color it also four bars. One, two, three, and four. That's cool. Now, how many people voted for the green? Two people. So let's go. One and two look our bar graph is ready now we finished let's go to other question let me put colors there 15 people voted on their favorite failed trip let me highlight the information so 15 people voted on their favorite field trip two votes were for symphony five voted for the zoo the same number voted for the museum and aquarium okay this is something mathematical it's really easy for the smart and for 
everybody because all my students are smart I will tell you how to do it first let's remove two votes and five votes from the people who voted okay I have 15 people two of them voted for voted for symphony five of them voted for zoo two more groups of people voted for one for the museum one for the aquarium they give us a hint the same number for these so here and here i have the same number of people how we will solve it it's really very easy all your votes should be 15 so let's make something for math 15 let's remove the two people i will get 13 then i will take 13 again let's remove five people I will get what? Eight. That's good. Cool. Now, eight is the number of people without these two groups. Okay, this eight people who voted for the museum and the aquarium, we have the same number for each one. So, this eight will be divided into two equal numbers. What are the two equal numbers that makes eight? It's really obvious, 4 and 4. So now I can say that I have 4 people voted for the museum, 4 people for the aquarium. Now, let's color. Because we don't have colors, I will use the highlighter. 2 votes for the symphony. Where is the, this is the symphony, 2 votes for it. Now, Five votes for the zoo. This is the zoo. It got five votes. Now, museum and aquarium, four and four. So let's color it. Yes, and we did it. Look, it's ready already. The last question. Circle the bar graph. Okay, we don't need to circle. We can name each one of them. This one. What can we see in this chart, in this graph? We see tally, so it's obvious. Tally, chart. Okay, what about this? I have beach, camping, water. I have key. I have title and I have symbols what is it exactly picture graph okay what about the last one I have number of words name of things I am talking about here and title what is it also I have here bars as you can see, rows and columns, bars. So, bar, graph. I think our lesson is very easy and you will enjoy it. Have fun.